Oh, thank gosh. Steam was down for a little while. I was worried that, that the stream would be even later than usual. Already pretty late. Thank you to everyone who waited for me. Had to deal with some stuff that... I, I misscheduled something at the wrong... Uh, I scheduled something at the wrong day, and it ended up being at stream time, but I couldn't move it, and I had to do it. But it's dealt with. It's done. We're here. Hi. Hi, Ron. So, oh, hi. I'm Black Cat. I do primarily RPG content, mainly Path of Exile right now, though I also do Power World and... In about three weeks, I'll be doing a bunch of Seven Days to Die content when it comes out from Early Access into its 1.0 version. We have, uh, I put out a video today on the At Black Cat Studio channel, as well as I'll be putting out another one on Thursday and Saturday. And the streams will be coming out on At Black Cat Streams, usually the day after of the stream. So with all that said, let's get into it. I have a Affliction Mystery Box. Oh, well, okay, I clicked on it anyways. <laughs> I have an Affliction Mystery Box from uh, Affliction Leg. I don't know... Uh... Really? Okay. Um... I was gonna say I don't know what this box has in it, uh, I have actually seen this item before, the Exile's Pilfering Ring, and I kind of really wanted it. So, you know, this is pretty nice. The fact that it tracks the amount of currency you pick up. Uh... Oh my gosh, okay, so I'll know exactly how much currency I picked up this league. Wow, that I was expecting, like... Ah, uh, yes, you want the right half of the... A uh, gore-covered door, right? Or you want the uh, upper handrail of the uh, angelic stairs or something. No, this is actually, like, really fucking nice. Wow, that was a really lucky pull, actually. Um... <laughs> I'm... I am shocked and surprised and happy that I got something so awesome. Is this something you can just, like... Why? Like, is this... Is this valuable or something? Or is it rare, or is it just... Maybe it's common. Hi, Pyro! Uh, what was it called? Exile's Pilfering Ring. Something you can... Something you can just buy? No. That's under specials. How do I search all? How do you search all? Okay. Uh, I was hoping that if you click on points that it would allow you to search the entire store. I guess under... No. Character? Oh. Oh, it's a $12 microtransaction. And I got the useful one. I don't care how many steps I've taken. This is actually, like, useful metrics for me. That's awesome. Hi, Pyro. I don't know if I said that. How is everyone doing today? I haven't asked that yet. Surprised I got, like, such a good item, just randomly. That box has been sitting there for a while. Oh no. Yeah, I guess that time of year is coming. 
I got to walk outside for the first time in a t-shirt today, so I was pretty excited. Not, it's not that warm here yet. Uh, I hope you uh, get the chance to chill a bit. Literally. Also, we have a Katarina waiting. We are going to do that first. I feel like learning JavaScript is going is more likely to make your brain melt than anything else. Maybe that's just me. Oh. I know why my- okay. I was just thinking, man, my damage seems kind of low. There's a reason why my damage is low. I am running the wrong aura. I took off my skitter bots in favor of discipline. Just for leveling up. Oh, actually, I totally didn't mean to mention that. I hit level 96. So, I got even more points to put in. And I was trying to be, like, really, really fucking careful, so I put... I socketed Discipline instead of, uh, Skitterbots, because I didn't need the extra damage for mapping for just practicing... For not practicing. Um, for just leveling purposes. Whoa. What is with the internet? Being really... Oh, God. Being challenging. I really hope that does not kill me later. You picked up a puzzle game that's helping you learn coding? Is that what I'm reading? That sounds really cool. It's not, uh, it's not exactly the same, but, uh, there is another game, I think Hack.net, that, uh, is really kind of fun for if you like technical puzzles. Kind of reminds me of that, though it's not, like, actual proper coding. It's just, like, code-themed. Also, coding itself is kind of fun. It is like it is kind of like a puzzle to me. It's the pretty much the only type of puzzle I like. Though I don't really code much these days. Something new for Katarina. No, you can't cross cross strike me. Nice try. Bye, honest. Okay. Capture. Where's Caddy? There you are. Your throw failed. Your rush. Locks up. Locks down. Scythe. Ah, shit! Watch out for the center. Okay. Capture. He scythed me. Gucci.
Alright, gotta get away from the center. Where is she? Gonna be careful of the center ring because I've been killed more than enough times by it. Capture. Your throw. No. Oh. And Gravitius. Okay, she's gonna break the last capture point to the west. Centers back online. Where'd she just go? Ah, uh, she's east. No, no, you're not doing that. Nope. Ooh. Failed orb. Failed orb. Failed orb. Failed orb. Failed orb. Failed orb. <laughs> Okay, I need to check what the actual drop chance of the Veiled Orb is, because I swear I just get it every time. Or, not every time, but, like, I feel like I have, a, like, a 75% drop rate on it. Huey, Katarina, drop rate. Drops a guaranteed unique, okay. According to this, there is a 15%... Okay. There's a 30% chance in 78 plus, so tier 12 plus areas, we're 83. Uh, it's not 30%. I refuse to believe that it's 30% because I have gotten it more times than I've not now. I refuse to call this that 30%. Either that or I'm just, like, obscenely lucky. Which I guess is also possible, but... I mean, I guess that's what RNG is. You can have an absolute route or just get lucky for absolutely no reason. I'm playing through is hack mud, and I got my roommate into it as well. Mud is multi-use, multi-user dungeon, right? Like, like the like the old school dun like old school game designation. Is that what you're talking about? On the cheaper, the cheaper barracks, as yeah. I think I have the more expensive barracks, so I can combine. I was really hoping to get the other harvest scarab, because there's one harvest scarab that's really fucking valuable. So I've been promoting Verici to the head of research every time to get good harvest scarabs. Def on MUD. Is that not the definition that of the mud you're using? Ooh, divination scare of completion. We're getting the chance to drop full stacks. That's not the max roll. That's not, not like the max quality or max value one, but it is. EDC? Get my price checker, so. Price checker, yeah, my price checker is saying ADC on. Or AD Chaos on Divination Scarab of Complete. 
Ambush Scarab of Discernment. Yeah. I should check. How much are the Veiled Orbs? Because they've gone down in price. Uh, they're sitting at 13. Okay. Not bad. Double, double trap stash. None of them are valuable, but I'll take this. Eh, another pair of sentry. Usually the ones that are likely to be most valuable will be the ones that look like the old winged scarabs. Uh, them looking like winged scarabs does not make them valuable, but it does, they're usually more likely to be valuable. And I haven't found any, uh, uh, the ones that are like the old school, like, base version, the copper version, I've never had any of those to be valuable. Same thing with, uh, I don't think many of the gilded versions are either. Yeah, the uh, old school basic and old school polished are almost never valuable. You can kind of just skip those and just look at the gilded and winged version. Uh, what do we get? Trinity support. Trinity support's actually valuable. See? Flying flame. Uh, no. Hydrosphere. No. Anna Leech, almost certainly not. Turning projectiles. Oh, we're turning projectiles. Yes, baby. 13C. Holy Flame Totem. No hatred. Yes. Okay, this... Oh, apparently the Veiled Devouring Diadem is worth around 30c. Nice. Huh. So, there is a build crafting thing I wanted to talk about tonight. Because I... I saw a very interesting video, I think it was yesterday, actually, from, uh, I believe their username's just the Victor on YouTube. i going to double check. They're a Path of Exile content creator. Path of Exile, just dungeon crawler, etc. I'm going to go find their information, just so I know exactly. The, base, the idea that I'm basing this off of is from them, and I want to give them credit. I see the channel. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we'll put the video code into the chat. This is the video code that, uh, the video I was looking at. So, uh, their username is the Victor 3 no spaces. They built a Holy Relic of Conviction build. So, for those who aren't familiar with Holy Relic, because I imagine most people aren't, because almost no one uses Holy Relic for anything. Better pause music a second. 
Holy Relic is that little glowing thing, crown thing that follows you around and does almost nothing and occasionally heals you a small amount. <laughs> that is what Holy Relic is. It's never really been used for anything, to the best of my knowledge, in the meta. But, uh, what it can do with, uh, what it can do, and uh, what it does even more so with the uh, new uh, Conviction version, is that it creates a physical Nova when you hit something, and it scales off of minion damage. So basically what they did is they created a Steel Scale build that uh, they just shoot out a lot of projectiles, and every time they hit something, the... Uh, Assuming that it's off cooldown, the Holy Nova triggers fall as on the location of the nearest enemy that it can find. So it's kind of like um, Astral Projector, where it picks where its Nova goes rather than it being around it instead. So it can actually attack things anywhere on screen as well as even a little bit off screen, which is really cool. And I loved their build idea. I was like, huh, I, I don't know, kind of want to play that. I was thinking to myself, you know, there is, there's one thing about this build that I don't like, and I'm not going to say it's, there's anything bad about the build. It's not. This is just my personal preference. But I noticed that he had to click buttons. And as we know with, with PoE, a build gets better the less you have to do for it, <laughs> or the more damage it has. So basically their their gameplay was fire fire skill uh hit enemy holy holy nova attack enemy enemy die. Well this was the idea I had based on that concept. Is this a good idea? I have no fucking clue. Absolutely no clue if it's a good idea. Arkmate. I, that was my Krangled League character. I have modified it to uh, do to work with this build. So, as you might be able to see, I have picked up the Hidden Blade. Every half a second, while, as long as you're phasing, it shoots out Unseen Strike, which throws a dagger. And it's affected by lesser multiple projectiles, greater multiple projectiles, just any projectile things, chain, etc., so now, I have it automatically attacking. I have the Holy Relic. Uh, where the fuck is it, anyways? I know it's with me. I literally do not see it. Well, it doesn't help that, that this build is obnoxious as... Oh, there it is. It's a little thing right over there. <laughs> it's tiny. So this was just me trying to make a proof of concept for the build, was I put together a uh, thing where if anything gets hit by the Hidden Blade, then it triggers the Holy Relic. I don't think this is going to be a good build, and therefore I would not suggest League starting it. Uh, okay, let me... I'm going to just take some random crappy basic maps. My actual map tab. But I, I have too much shit going on. Wait, this is my actual map tab. So, volley, greater and lesser volley both work with uh, Hidden Blade. Um, if you're familiar with what volley does, it does exactly what you think it does. It acts as if, well, I'll just show you. I'm going to swap out chain support. <laughs> it, uh, it's a thing. Very, very, very a thing. Uh, as far as I know, the Hidden Blade actually tries to aim towards something if there is something nearby. So, like, it's not like it just aims randomly like it is right now when there's nothing nearby, but... It is, uh... It's a thing. It's a thing. 
as far as I know, having multiple uh, hidden blades doesn't really matter. Like, it's just going to trigger one. Kill. I'm going to go back to the fire everything everywhere. For and we're going to make a map. I'm currently just using a mage blood to simulate having uh, phasing always on. I don't know how to actually how actually I would want to do that in a real build, but I mean, this is just a test for a reason. Crypt ship. Not a shell. Buy Crimson Town. Maybe not with extra rare monsters. Sure, let's go with that. Just something basic. Can I add some? Oh yeah, I can't add any uh, mob density because all of my scarabs are now veiled scarabs. <laughs> right. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I can add domination. Okay. I'm gonna show you how this works. Kind of. I'm gonna try. Actually, I'm gonna take off one of my. That I'm. Right now, I'm like zooming, and I, I need to not do that for the sake of actually working. So basically, as you run around, it just attacks wherever it sees an enemy. Irregardless which enemy you hit, you just have to hit an enemy to cause it to work, and then it just attacks wherever it sees that an enemy. Whee! So, I'm not actually doing enough damage to kill a lot of the stuff that I'm passing by, which is kind of a problem. But I mean, again, this is just a, uh, this is just like a generic test of the build to see how it would react, not to actually like make a re Yeah, it is much like a dart trap from general, any game that involves dart traps. But the cool thing is, like, all you have to do is hit something. You don't have to really do anything else. Like, like it, it, it will, it will fire for you. It will pick where you're going. You just have to make sure that you are hitting something. And generally, uh, unseen strike from hidden blade is pretty good at making sure that happens. So that's kind of just the idea. They were using the steel skills. I think that's a great plan. It probably helps a lot, but... And this probably decreases the damage because it takes up a weapon slot. But honestly, I like how... I, I like creating an auto-bomber. So I, I, I figured it'd be kind of fun to try to make an auto-bomber version of this. Now let's go to where the boss is. This actually might be like a decent elf build. Kind of that. Um. Where is the boss? I don't know this map very well. Oh, I see it. Yeah, this is just a vague setup. I mean, I don't even think this... I don't... This is currently on a dead eye. I would not consider this a good class to do this with. Especially considering that I scale on minion damage, of all things. Not, not really dead eye specific, is it? Oh, this poor build struggling with a tier one boss. All right, of course. That's kind of the idea. Wish I could toggle on scene strike on. Can't. I'm going to disable you. Turn off auto. So basically what I have it set up to be right now is uh, Unseen Strike is just chain support, LMP, GMP. So just have a bunch of extra projectiles. It's one projectile by default. 
three with LMP and seven with GMP LMP. And then it has two chain. I don't know if chain is ideal. I think it probably is because the um, Unseen Strike triggers every half a second, but you can get the cooldown of the Nova below half a second. So you will be capped out on your damage to hitting twice a second, except the chain allows you to hit more things more consistently, which can help bridge that gap between times that your Unseen Strike fires. And I have considered using a uh, Ranger for this because I can get perma phasing, but I think I'm going to try to get phasing a different way. Cheating with a Mage Blood right now. I have Severed and Sleep with this as well. Probably not what you ultimately, but it's a, it's a minion damage sword. Because you can do Sword Dagger. That works. I think you can also do Sword Shield, which would also work. Speaking of which... Master... Master... Are. Do I have an? I don't think I have an extra. There, do I? Yeah. Uh, with the squire. Actually, wait. No. Why would I want the squire? Because the squire is just gonna buff. Just gonna buff unseen strike. I don't need to buff unseen strike. <laughs> would four kelp instead of LMP? I'll be honest, I have no idea. Because... I don't know, because... I don't really... I, I have a hard time grasping mentally what the differences would be when... How do I put this? There's a lot of different scenarios that you'll be in. You'll be in different near packs in different areas, different packs of different sizes, like different terrain, different areas. So it's really hard to say whether fork, chain, or just more projectiles are better. I, I somewhat lean towards having more project initial projectiles just to make sure something gets hit. But... I have yet to have any issues with things getting hit, so I don't know. Orc also might be better than Chain. I'm not sure. I'm not sure there's anything like in particular I can sell it with. It's like, ah, uh, if you chain this thing, you make it take more damage or something. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Anyways. We have uh, Unseen Strike to trigger the Holy Nova, Holy Relic. I just have Awakened Brutality, Awakened AoE, awake, or Feeding Frenzy, Minion Speed, and Minion Damage on there right now, just as a base thing. I think Minion Speed is actually important because of the cast speed, but I'm not sure. I don't really know too much about the uh, uh, Nova spell. When you hit an enemy with an attack, the Holy Relic triggers a Nova spell with a short cooldown that deals physical damage to enemies and grants life regen to allies in area. Oh, it has an increased buff effect thing. Cause the Conviction one, which decreases... Which I would want more. The actual full build. Uh, I have uh, just minion life with uh, chaos golem for physical damage reduction and carrying golem for damage. I have automation going with steel skin and convocation with incorporation. I have oh I have a poacher's mark and a mark on hit support because I'm going to be hitting hitting things with attacks. So if I hit a rare enemy, then it will automatically mark it for me. And since the, um, since 
The Nova spell is physical damage. Bursting it with Poacher's Mark means that it reduces their physical da- it's, it's, um... It, uh, it has crush, basically. They have less physical damage reduction. I don't know if that matters on creatures that don't have physical damage reduction to begin with, but I don't know. There's also the cursed enemies have a chance to, to give you a frenzy charge on hit, as well as on death. And I'm very curious if that works for the... No, for the, um... Please, 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 I need you to work with uh, the Holy Relic. I'm wondering if the Holy Relic will get Frenzy Charges itself, because that would be really cool. Also, just have Dash and Inspiration there. Saving mana. I have, I'm just running Grace and Pride. I'll probably be close to whatever it is. Well, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. And portal, yeah. I mean, like the rest of the stuff is just like placeholder here. I think my resistance, my resistances are really weird. Oh, and I put uh, corpse walker in here just so that uh, there's always a corpse for. Uh... Oh, I'm using Queen's Regalia, so uh, there's always a corpse for Queen's Regalia to eat with your bone offering, flesh offering, or spirit offering. I probably would want to trigger. Uh, I probably would want to trigger my offering skills differently so that I can have more control over what it actually creates. But I mean, it, it's a thing. I'm also enjoying having mage, uh, mage blood because I get to run fast. Stop doing that. So, I'm thinking of spending some time doing some build crafting, or spending some time doing some mapping. Is there any preferences in the chat as to what we should do with our time? What would you like to see? We could also do just, like, some basic build crafting. <laughs> That's fine. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We are going to throw together a build. I'm not going to spend forever on this. This is just going to be a basic thing. We're going to throw together a bit. Based on Hidden Blade and on Summon Holy Relic. Or it's no okay, Hidden Blade. And I guess we will throw in a thing that has the stuff on it. Helps the thing. Uh, United in Dream, probably. Because it's Envy. I think in that case it's Severed in Sleep. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Right, okay. The um, Severed and Sleep that I have in Path of Exile, that was in standard mode. It's a, It must be a... Um... <laughs> it must be a legacy version, which is why I'm getting confused. Why is, doesn't it look like the thing that I was using? Okay, so... The difference is that... 
Hydrogen Dream is poison, and Severed and Sleep is wind. That just adds more crit. Not sure. I'll do that now. And then we need Corpse Walker. Minimum. Take. Should be 10. Let's make ourselves an arm. So. So oh, we will chest plate. Grab, grab some gloves. Grab a bone head. And an amulet, minion amulet. Do we have minion amulet? Is that a thing? That thing that we can do things. Can't. Can't think. Wait, I can just I can just sort by jewelry. That that would make my life a lot easier. I could convert I could convert my damage to cold with my with my thing if I want to do a cold damage one. Now, I think we're just going to use a basic amulet. Okay. So, let's actually look at the trees. So, the builds uh, the Victor used was Necromancer, and realistically, I don't think there's... I don't think there's any real competition for it, besides, in my mind, for this particular build, uh, the... Yeah. Raider, because the Raider can has permanent phasing. Perma phasing is pretty nice for this particular scenario. Thing is perma phasing. Kinda kind of what we want. But we might have to find phasing a different way. Dead. Necro. Because, I mean, Necromancer is, like, it's, it's the minion build. It's pretty hard to pick anything else. Okay, so. Unholy Might, sure. We will do all chaos damage. This button is terrible as we are building the Arachnophobia build, sadly. Um... Have many minions, so get much out of the maximum energy shield. I don't that's so much. Legbringer, I'll always have access to because of corpse nearby. And then I guess it'll just be either Commander of Darkness or Mistress of Sacrifice. Pick Mistress of Sacrifice for now because I, if I'm going to go Commander of Darkness, I don't want the uh, all the all res that it has to be interfering with building and forgetting that I'm getting all res from Tendency. Okay. So if this is a part ES build, we are probably going to want to this way. Focus. Grab Lord of the Dead. Uh, grab Grave Intentions for more guests. Wonderful little munchkins. Grab some of the army. Up here. 
have golden commanders so we can have their gold. I'm tempted to look into a link. That actually, you could theoretically do a do link skills. Wait, okay, hold on a second. Let's say fuck it to the gold. Golems are annoying. They'll get in the way if we do links. We are going to look at the new gloves that came this year. Of which I cannot remember the, the name of them for the life of me. Or... Link. No. What the fuck? What the fuck is the name of of the the gloves that came this league that are aura based and they have an effect on your link skills and they are weird. They don't seem to be popping up as the weird. I thought they would have popped up to one of those. They are gloves, right? I'm not crazy. Just got them. And it's a free shit, yeah. Are they not in POB yet? Actually, wait. Okay, so, Hands of Freesia. Cursor effect from her scales, way below target. I'm just gonna get that. That, so it actually takes effect properly. Link targets count as in range of your non cursors when skills want. So we would have a link skill. Link, what are our options for link skills for our wonderful little totem? No, not totem. We have destructive link, which is it technically we could do we would need but we would need to pick a one-handed thing to transfer our crit from though i don't know if that's totally worth it a uh, flame link which would scale based on our life which we do rigid bond which requires it to actually touch things which sucks Intuitive Link, which I don't think would be very good, uh, unless I wanted to Intuitive Link, like... Can offer it? No, I... no. No, I... no. Uh, Proctive Link gives block, no. Soul Link... Intercept damage, no. Vampiric Link... Okay, no. So it would be either destructive link, flame link, or into if it's flame link, this build has to be like full full life. If it's destructive link, and it also turns fire. Destructive link, then I need to go crit. And if it's intuitive link, I need to find a spell that works. I'm just gonna say destructive link. 
go for increased duration. Inspiration. Now I know I know what you're thinking. This really sucks. We now have to click a button in this. Build. I know, I know, I know it sucks, but we will have to we'll have to do a button. Our auto bomber will require putting a leash on a little lamp. We are the lamp master. Our little nova lamp. Okay, I think that's all. Could link up to our. Do that. We need to skills can target damage to minion. Okay. Here we're going to increase minion AOE because that will help a lot. All the way over here. But not death up to minion because every minion build requires a shit ton of dual sockets for mana reservation efficiency and mana reservation efficiency and what else do we want? Well, we want minion hit here link and grab some life and ES. Grab some more aura. Righteous army and redemption for damage. What else should we have? Uh, overwhelmed physical damage reduction. Good, good. Take purity of flesh over to. Grab spiritual command to give it more pass speed. Add offering effect because we'll probably have lots of offering. Might as well grab sacrifice too while we're here. Any other notable things down here? Oh, wait. Link skills. Plus two to level link skills. Okay. What else do we want? Link targets, shares, endurance, frenzy, and power charges. Probably want that. We have lots of options for exposure, that's for sure. But we're still physical. What? Share. Link targets, share. Endurance, frenzy, and power. Wait, that's sharing them back? Wait. Is that sharing them back to you from them? Or does that share both ways? Is that one way or two way? Because that has a big effect on it. Because I want to know if, if I get the charge, will they get the charge? Or if they get the charge, will I get the charge? So, go to our handy dandy Google. GUI link mastery. Uh, linked targets. Share charges. Who gets them, I guess? You gain a charge, you share it with all linked minions, and if any linked minions gain a charge, you also gain a Perfect! Exactly what I was looking for. Sharing charges means one act that when one actor gains a charge, all shared act sharing actors gain a charge. According to someone on the pew. Okay, well that'd be good, because... I think I'd be able to get frenzy charges fairly easily from the uh, poachers mark. So, well, not easily. We're not going to be marking many things, really. But it only marks things that are rare, or unique, and there are only so many of those. Okay. Well, that's useful. What else do we want? Um, 
Okay, so that gave us Link Heal Gem level. Now, uh, since we're also Armor and ES, we have Faith. Yeah. Okay. Charge I don't really like any of them. We'll grab Devotion down here and get some... Oh, Consecrated Ground Effect. That was... Oh, we'll grab a Dual Socket because we always need Dual Sockets. Sanctum of Thought for crit reduction. We... We actually would probably benefit from going down here to Vanquisher, because we could crush things if you hit them while well they're, well they're on full life. And crush reduces physical damage reduction. So... Let's see. That doesn't help, because I'm damage. Somebody hits that only do physical damage. I think that's useful. Actually, this is six points. If I could get this as an as an annoyance, that probably would be. Well, we'll worry about that later. For now, we are just going. And with what we have, because we can. I don't need aura effect or or pair a week getting that from my linking. Any other links? Oh, I didn't even check this one. Curses are inflicted on you instead of targets. Does that mean that as long as they're linked to me, that map curses would not affect them? Because I would want to... No, because map curses would affect me, not my minion. I just don't want my holy my holy relic to have, like, a Debo on it. I actually need this. I'm going to say that I don't need that. Right. Dominion. And Yun. It's also the link. Oh, that's the link. Oh, that's definitely not useful. Okay, so. What other minion stuff do we have? We have Grave Pact, which most likely I would just... Oh. Oh, that's going to be the question, is whether I want to put... Whether I want Grave Pact to use the six points, or I want Vanquish to use the six points. Uh-oh, we need to actually get our... Our minion up so that we can... Math it. Corpse recently. Or nearby corpses. Guys, okay, so we're going to get our holy relic going. Holy relic of conviction. Let's see what. When you hit an enemy with an attack, the holy relic triggers a spell with a short cooldown that deals physical damage to, area, to enemies in an area with a nearby enemy. In, in an area around a nearby enemy. Okay, so it's basically the same thing, except for you could have two holy relics here. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's much nicer. Okay, so we have holy relics. Well, 
Okay, so. I can minion damage down. Seeing as they have pretty much pure pure chaos damage at this point. Void manipulation. Adjusting added chaos damage. Controlled destruction. Increase my crit chance. Apparently increase the damage, so whatever. And let's give it awakened. Awakened and power is like obscenely expensive. I I would rather buy a mage blood than awakened and power, because I don't think there's gonna be that much a difference in price. There's also the other one. Beings created by supported scales gain awakened fear and adrenaline for 10% of their duration up to a maximum second. Does it? I'm confused. Holy relics don't have a duration. So what does the, what does fresh meat do for them then? Either it works for 10 seconds, or it does nothing, and all it does is give the increased critical strike chain. Useful. I'm also assuming that I can do critical strike damage with the Holy Relic. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know for 100% sure if that's true. Hope so, though. a 2% chance of it. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely having some issues with uh, controlled destruction now, aren't I? <laughs> okay, um, let's turn off controlled destruction. Can actually ever do damage ever. I increase critical strike. That gives us a 24% chance to crit. Higher. Nicer. Take off. I'll trade fresh meat out for critical strike damage. Oh, I was thinking 150. So. This does allow me. Want. If I take a crit note. I can add plus three all all critical spell. That's only two percent damage increase. That's really not a lot. Even though it it's giving three levels to two. Wow. Never mind. Okay. Anything else that I desperately need? I think... Okay, so I'm going to first check Crush. What does Crush do? That's doing... That's doing nothing. Nerve works. Okay, it's not an attack. Okay. So if I undo, is it just automatically applying it? No, cross just doesn't help. Okay, well, that answers that question. Still have multiple things like So I could grab another 
it. That will probably be it. If I get a chance to poison, I could poison things and add a negative 5% to chaos enemy, which means that I that probably it would buff the relic, seeing as it's now pure chaos damage. But that also requires me to hit the specific creature that it's hitting, which isn't necessarily guaranteed. That's probably not a big idea. Oh, I just noticed that we have 25,000 life and then 11,000 energy shield on Alex. That's really good, actually. That's really good, because, I mean, I have struggled before with totems that have, like, 3,000 life. <laughs> Having having that much life is good. That's uh that's a really good Okay, I think that's more or less everything now. I think it's like anything crazy good. Okay, well let me grab some more yep. Look at our option. Always the helmet shall be the for a spot. What should we what should we have? Probably determination. Because I always try to buff defenses first. Important. Not defiance banner probably. Critical strike on enemies. Actually, wait, no. I'm going to go for the specific type of banner we want. I think four banner. Yeah, nearby enemies take fit increase damage. Wait, no. We don't want that. We don't want increased physical damage because we don't we don't deal physical damage anymore. We deal chaos damage now. And we have Severed in Sleep, which is giving us Envy, which is our damaging order. We don't actually need to add another. We have Determination, and we're going to take... I'll, you know, I'll add Defiance Ban. Give us... Five percent more physical damage reduction, that's good. Anything else we could add to this that would actually remotely Weird thought. Hold of Agony. Give me a chance to poison. I want to Chaos. Holy relic. No, I don't think that's worth it. Other option is skitter bots, as usual. Skitter bots with freeze and chill thing. Actual mana. Unseen strike doesn't really cost any mana to use. Uh, Holy Relic, we only have to once. Link skill is the thing that will be taking up all mana. Currently, we can maintain the Link skill for like five seconds before we run out of mana. That's not good. Okay, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Scare Bots, and I'm going to put Clarity in instead. Now we have enough mana regen to maintain that, and we also have more unreserved mana, which would be nice because we are at travel skills now. 
big flame dash because flash is the best. We'll do the basic flame dash operation. And Okay, so my brain just went somewhere completely different, but Replica Dragonfang's Flight. Replica Dragonfang's Flight. Okay. Sorry if I don't want to forget what I'm thinking. Okay, um... How do I... How do I select version? Okay, so theoretically, I could uh, select a replica Dragonfang's flight that is or Nova. Nova? No, Holy Relic. That's the word. Let me double check that this exists before I focus on this too much. Replica flight. Okay. Now I want plus hashtag double all this. Oh my god. Okay. So, they're 25 div. Why are these expensive? I thought no one used the holy the whole summon holy relic for anything. Why is this expensive? Well, whatever. Let's look at our obscenely expensive thing. Level 2 all fact right syntax all common holy really add okay that gave us almost twenty five percent of our current damage. Yeah, that's a 29% damaging. See why people like it. The other option is that you also get... Well, you can also get uh, weapons with plus to all like physical spell... Dam uh, all physical spell skills, for example. But that actually might not be used because... Severed and Sleep is probably better for having it. So minions can have a 60% chance to inflict Wither on you. So there's a problem with that. Because I only have two minions. And theoretically, they're only going to hit so many times because they're big hits. So, you could only reliably have, like, three wither. I don't think I would want... I don't think I would want to rely on more than three. Where wither? Not... Why no, why no wither? I know whether. <laughs> what do? Uh. And chance to with it on hit. Not oh, wrong, sit down. Uh, Iron Mass. The right syntax, will you? Ah, 
Oh, I thought Iron Mass gave you Wither, okay. Wither. Okay, I'm just gonna add a fake fire. Yeah, okay, so if I add a fake wither modifier there, then it won't actually affect anything because I'm gonna be doing wither only, but it brings up the wither. So I'm gonna say that 60% chance each time, uh, let's say. You reliably have two weather stacks, I think. Is not very much at all. That is actually really bad. It's actually really bad. I have hit recently. Unnerve things any? Oh, no, the only method I had for unnerve. out so it's up to everything else now okay so we're probably going to have one that is what we can guarantee from the that's what we can fairly reliably guarantee when fighting a bone since we'll have a 5% chance on hit to uh, get one as well as the both of the minions will have a 5% chance on hit to get one. We'll all be... We'll have a total of 6 hits a second. 2 hits from each of the Relic and 2 hits from me. Actually, no, it might be more than that, really. I don't know how fast they attack. I assumed it would be... They would attack twice a second because... I would be hitting... Like, I fire off unseen... Unseen strike every five seconds, but this is not a bossing character. This will never be a bossing character. I need to be able to care like kill tanky rares quickly. That's just about. Okay, so it can hit about four times. Okay, so we get. Eight hits a second across two Holy Relics Conviction. Okay, that's not bad. So let's go back to Wither. Is there anything else Wither related that we could... We could add Withering Touch. Unseen Strike, actually. Not be such a bad plan. Though, we still have one giant problem that we haven't even begun to touch, which is the fact that we don't have any method of phasing. Hmm. Okay, well, we get perma phasing life bill. Get phasing while we have cat stealth, but that's. Ah. Phasing if you block to reset. That's that requires me to get hit. That's not very reliable. Phasing if you've killed recently, that's also not very reliable because you have to start that. I don't like having to start. Uphill. Not... 
What modifier is phasing here? The phasing wall affected by haste. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so that's one method. One method I can think of here now is that you can have phasing if you have haste when you're affected by this water's eye. You can have phasing if greater. And you could have phasing if you only have one, one or two flasks and the traitor. Traitor uh, of the almost jewels. Brutal restraint? Yes. But that limits our a whole lot. The other option is I can just get a fucking mage blood with my obscene amounts of money that I seem to be generating. And I just have a phasing plan. Also works. Seems a bit... Uh, I don't really like the concept of, have, of, of being like, hey, you can use this build, but you need a mage blood first. That's not really my favorite. But what's the other option? Well, okay, first of all. Hmm. Alright, that's forbidden taste. That's oh, also a catcher. Anyways. Flask. Orsk. Orts. Okay. Christians. Say that for now. I mean, there is the automatic, or not the automatic, the, like, manual option where I set, I do a duration thing and I just click it every 15 seconds, but I can't gain charges during that, which, you know, that's bad. There's also the other, other, other option that I don't really want to pick. Which is, I can go Ascendant and Raider, but then what the hell else am I going to pick? Like, hits ignore physical damage reduction. That'd be great, but it's not on my Nova skin. Greater ground, but it's mainly mental damage. Recovery. Um, speed power charges, my thing, but that use by comparison to everything else I could have. And then I just have the necromancer. And, just not that good by comparison to the actual Necromancer Thensi. That's 28,500. A natural strength is giving me 40,000 on its own. 60,000. 80,000. There's, there's close to closing in on 90,000 damage from just my Thensi. That's not, that's not replaceable. Okay, so we have our travel stuff. We don't have the curse because we have... Oh, we don't have the... Uh, we don't have the thing set up. Uh, 
Here. We need our mark and our strike set up. I love that you can type LMP and GMP in and like it knows what you're talking about. Strike. And then either withering touch or chain. So this would give me the benefit of I'll have twenty five percent chance of weathering ping, which is nice. Oh wait, hold on. Second. I can't go dagger quiver, right? No, I don't think I can do that. Uh. Okay, well I could pick withering touch, which. Give me a chance to win things. Not a very good chance. And also, I won't necessarily hit the right thing. So I'm kind of just shooting at range. That's actually, that's not. We'll pick chain instead. And finally, we will set up our mark. We're going to hit. That's in smart. Mark when I want. Mark doesn't seem to do very much. Why, why dad? Maybe because I already have a whole bunch of physical damage reduction on things already. Also, I mainly crit anyways, so it's probably better for it. Okay, and put in. Right. We have a open socket there. Open socket with links are. Open socket where our baffle is. I think 100 191,000. So we can fit a whole lot of shit in here now. Mainly we'll be working on just minion damage. Actually, I guess I could technically... Oh. I don't know if the Scourge is better than Severed and Sleep. I'd lose the gluttony as well. So, Severn Sleep is 13,000 more. But. Trade off is thirty eight percent of my mana. Okay, next idea. Watcher's eye. Haste. Through having funny. Put in haste. Oh, did that increase the damage? Oh, apparently it really likes haste. Oh, it must love attack speed. Or not attack speed, it must love cast speed then. Okay. Oh, actually, I should check then. Faster casting good for here? Oh, man. Lesser casting is the same damage as critical, critical damage, or increased critical damage. Really costs 112 mana to. Or 102 mana. I think. 
swap the it's in 86 instead of 100. Hammer does that 228, swap over 9. It's actually better. Better turn that off. Okay, so we have our permaphasing now from the watch design. And we are going to be going to gameplay in, it in a second. I just wanted to take a moment. Annulet. There. Okay, so we're looking for the watcher's eye. You have a while. That is around the dip. Okay, yeah, no, that's way more than reason. And then it's just anything else we want. So if we can get a determination thing with that, if we can get a clarity thing with that, any of that is good. Wait, this is a spell build. Hold on. I, I think I forgot something, like, super important about this. Aura. What does Zealotry do? Again, spell build. Basically would have to trade a story. Can't really have... Or if we do, we can't have clarity. Clarity. Out of curiosity. So Zealotry is better, but we can't afford it. Need haste of thing. Okay, so it's good to know, because that does mean that we could have Huck with on us mapping. That is that is a nice. Okay, so we're at 130,000. We have an okay life mod there. Probably would want to throw uh, we're gonna want to throw an offering into this too. Spirit offering is crit. Bone is block, flesh is. Spirit would be the best. We would need to be casting that. Aren't the destructive link getting? Destructive link is giving us 37,000. That's not very much. Okay, what happens if I just swap this to intuitive? Well, it decreases the damage, but now we actually have Spirit Offering triggering by something, rather than just not. Spirit Offering have triggered. Then we actually have an Offering skill. We could take out Increased Direct. So, I was going to say we could take increased duration and add desecrate, but we are going to have. We are going to have bodies from Corpse Walk 2. So, I don't know if we necessarily need that. Anyways, very packed. Pop that on there. Regains six points. Looking pretty good already. Move the watch's eye. Could do a dual cluster. Large. Eight passives. Dual. 
probably renewal. I want rotten claws. No, because I don't think the I don't think the the relic attacks. I'm pretty sure it's pure spell. So rotten claws would be. Uh, race and pillage, atrophy, and sting fiends. I guess fiends, sting fiends are our only option. Cool. So as long as it's on full life, you can deal with damage. Uh, vicious bite will be crit builds mainly. I'm not doing golems of so primarily bonds useless and cold butters. Situational at best. So, damage. Million damage. Okay, so. What chance do I actually have that the relic is going to be on full life is the question. Because... If recovery is seven, not very good. Hold on one second. What chance is there that it is? So it's in full. Okay, so that's twelve thousand. Beans is that. Vicious Bite's 20... No. Vicious Bite's 17,000. And... That opens up a lot of sockets. And then, I mean, Jill sockets are usually good for any and all minion builds. Don't really know exactly what I would pick for this build, per se. But... I'm sure there's something. Worst comes the worst Ghastly Eye Jewels. Fortress Coven. Um. I think you can put Fortress Cove Covenant into the... Over here into... Cluster. No, it doesn't work. Because you can't have radius jewels in clusters. I was wondering if I could block the uh, uh, passives and radius or transform to instead take tw minions take 20% increased damage. I was hoping to block that and just have the minions deal damage. <laughs> just trying to just trying to fuck around with that. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Not work. Day is ruined. Uh, and so on. Something different. Really want to. Re Acid. There's probably a bunch of things that will take some time until them figuring out what they actually are. Meanwhile, about to 300,000 DPS, uh, 2,800 life, which is atrocious, 1,600. Decent mana still. Our attributes haven't been set up. Our resistance. Okay. So this is a good basis for a build here. It's not a build, but it is a eventual build kind of thing. We are going to call it here for today. I will work on this off stream because 
the next parts of this are going to be just like me reading wiki pages probably and just muttering to myself for hours. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make anyone not gonna make anyone watch that. I'm sure there are people who'd love to watch that, but I know a lot of you don't want I know a lot of you want to see gameplay, and to be honest, I'm kinda of feeling like seeing gameplay too right now. So we're gonna put that aside. And we are going to actually go smack a thing. Smack a bitch with a fireball. Okay. Yes, we shall smack all the things. So I was thinking, I'm not really picking up white or yellow maps anymore. I was thinking of just wasting all of my white maps now. On... Just, just uh, open a map, see if it gives me the, uh, call it the uh, exiles thing. If it doesn't give me the exiles thing, where you can convert armor or weapons and currency, then I just open it and move on to the next one. That's so I'm thinking we can go do that. Waste some of our, waste some of our maps. Don't actually need. To see if we can get out of them. So I'm never going to use the maps. At the end of the league, there's always that one thing that, God, I just have to slowly transfer all of them, and I don't want to do that. So I am just going to waste them right now, and then I don't have to worry about transferring standard. Them don't have again one that regularly. Okay. Now we're just going to throw a bunch of these in here, see what they make. Okay, nope, don't want XP. Rarity, no. Rations, no. Written spirit, no. Dropped armor to jeweler's orb. Chaos orbs. There we are. That's this is not a good setup for this is not a good setup for this at all, actually. It's actually an atrocious setup. Oh, this really sucks. <laughs> This is decent enough to want to run it, though. I will put Domination on it. I will run this, clear out the get all the Chaos Orbs, and then leave. Because again, this is all just about wasting maps. The off chance that they do something like, oh, I don't know, chaos orbs. Need to be careful I don't pick up, like, put a bunch of corpses that are, like, really low level into my propolis, or I'm going to have to sort them out and delete them. I'll put them in my inventory just so I can get them off and I'm chuck them. People don't want low item level corpses, anyways. Unless they're haunted one. Yum. Little bouncy, bouncy creature. Okay. 
going to ignore the Dune missions because I genuinely do not want any of my safe houses to spawn at this level. What's this? Oh! There's a boss here. Goodbye. Oh! Ignore refusing. That's actually valuable, I think. I know. Oh, you are the character ones. Oh, snap. Also, our creatures. I don't know ultimately if this is an efficient strategy, but it might be, so. I figured I'd try it and see what happens. Orb. Hey, okay, is this? Contracts. And the boss should be another haunted by. How do I get so many haunted ones? Usually I don't get very many at all. Okay, there's the boss. Government's love and chaos, not bad. How much are the fusings? Ooh. Can't you fuse thing? 32 Nice, actually. That was worth it. Oh. 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 Okay. Chromatic orbs, no. Photographers just out of course no. Purpose of unmaking, are you worth it? Half a chaos of pain. Map is this? That's the No, I'm good. And, um, there we are! Drop weapons converted to chaos orbs! Go exile. Okay. Hey, no. That back. Pop our Atlas Passive Tree. Oh. I'll exile. Oh. Anarchy. Please don't open it. God damn it. I hate that bug. Or I, I assume it's a bug where it just it just like, oh, you changed your passive tree? Oh, okay. Well I guess your uh your lantern's gone now. Yeah, it's not even asking me for, for my lantern now. It's just deleting it. Why are you doing this? Eh. Will you will you let me do this again? Oh thank gosh. A bunch of orbs are right. Does that No. They are worth the same amount as Alex. Activation cancelled. So annoying. 
Yeah, no, it, it won't even it won't even give you the option of lanterns anymore. Uh, okay. Right, I'm going to leave my hideout and come back. Then maybe that's the problem. Don't know why it does. It just bugs out like that. No, it just refuses to give me lanterns now. Why will you not give me lanterns on this particular thing? I'm wondering if Fear the Light could have some. That applies modifiers to random packs. Actually, that could be a deal. But I... Maybe that's fucking it up. That might have actually been screwing it. Okay, well that's really annoying, but I'm glad to at least know why it was fucking up like that. It seemed like it was it had some lantern modifiers too, which why was why I was like so confused by it. Quant. I quant. I quant for catalyst. Could be valuable. I'll do that. Is this? This shouldn't take too long. If I get the right catalysts, they're worth 10 chaos apiece. Real reason up oh. the corpses on no shitty low item level corpses. I wish Fear the Light made it more obvious that it blocks you being able to use a lantern, like set anything up with your lantern. I thought it just gave extra stuff. To I mean, I guess it kind of tells you. It's not incredibly easy to figure out, but I guess it technically tells you. else what Where did you pinpoint a safe house oh because i get because <laughs> i get progress for completing areas that's why for killing map bosses so confused for a second Okay, Lester Shrine, no. XP, no. Especially not on a low. Chromes. Operations. Ryan's nope. Um now yeah. can get quantity and other Drop down some rarity converge to divination cards. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, that's valuable. That's really valuable, actually. Uh, I did not consider the fact that all of my embers are too high tier for this. All am ember of... Uh, and, yeah. I'm going to be one of the weirdos who takes the low-level one. This is a one. It's going to be monster level 67, which means that I need uh, 63 enough. That's 69. That'll definitely be definitely work. Oops, not buying, but might not be. Level 73. I'll, I'll pay 10. That is an okay amount of pay. Come on. Level 76. That should be... That might be too high a level. <laughs> I mean, that's if it's too high a level, that's fine. I certainly find something else. It is of the right level. Okay, cool. So, we are going to go into the Anarchy section. I Pack Density section. Uh, have our Exile set up there. And we can go, I think. Yeah. Okay, tier one Crimson Town. This will be quite simple. Hello, Exiles. Exiles give me nothing. Thought that I. Oh my god! Okay, maybe I need to change my filter. Game. Okay, that's why I'm not saying anything. Because <laughs> I just have, like, the super ones up. Okay. Three faces. Four Lord Humility. Grab a bunch. And then we get to open all of these things. Yeah. 
want a scarab. We have the scarab. No. Darn it. Except for the scarab. Or enemy. I don't know why it woke up and chose violence today, but that is what it did. I will respect his decision and pretend it does not exist. Divination cards! Cards. Cards, D. Um. Hello, friend. Hello, all of your stuff. What? Hello, other friend. I'm here to steal your stuff. Okay, act is nice. Yeah, I think this was worth it to just spam, get rid of all of my low-level maps to see if I could find even one of these fires. This this definitely seems worth it, and at least I don't have to worry about like dealing with all those extra maps at the end of the league. Not picking up the white and yellow. Oh my god, my inventory is very full now. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put them all into one tab if I can. I'm gonna put them all into one tab now. See all of them together. Not from this. I'm gonna get mixed up. Okay. Back we go. Like more divination cards. So many div cards. <laughs> Let's see about dragging the exiles over to the strong boxes are in case the strong boxes now are resurrecting things. I don't know. If they'll, if I can loot them again, if I resurrect them, but fine. Exile somewhere. They are. Um. I shall eat all. Oh, so many chaotic dis. Okay, unfortunately, I think that is the end of the map. So we did get like um a inventory and a half worth of div cards. So maybe I shouldn't complain too much. And that's just the the decent ones I picked up. Okay, so, ignoring the other crit other shit in this tab, I got all of this. Cactus position. 
Should actually look at play. Chaos. Chrome. Threats. Burns. Chaos. And Carton. That's the majority of it. So, 5, 10, 15. Nineteen, but a guarantee of nineteen chaos isn't a huge amount. We have a lot of things to turn that are still maybe. And the regrets are half a chaos apiece. Not bad. Pretty good. It's actually not as good as the uh as the chaos for or the just chaos orb, but also we had uh, like hundreds of chances to get different divination cards cards and just having more chances to get div cards as well. So Yeah. Yeah. That's totally worth it. And now let's take all this stuff out. And Check it into the div cards thing, and we are going to see what we I already have. Item staff. Rod. Uh, gold, gold ring. Enter, potential ventures gamble. Okay. Chaos orbs, chaos orbs, operations, all orbs. Actually, we can. At current. Black currency be interesting. I can turn. In the forest. Eh, rolls. Hillary, I'm in bind. Staff. Oh, an Agnorod. Good. Agnorod's good. Oh, two Agnorod Wes. Ventor is not Ventor. Royal Chain. Duck. Brandis Signet. 3% chance for slain monsters to drop an additional scroll of weakness. Wow. Extra XP gain. Oh, wait, this is valuable? I don't think this would be valuable. Why is this valuable? 15C? Oh. I guess because it has experience gain, if you're doing experience farming, it would technically make it more valuable. Okay, so that's actually like a valuable thing I got from this. All stuffed. Unized remorse plus one to gem level. That has any value. Way. Uh, 39C actually, apparently. Nice. And an unset ring. Nope. You're, you I'm keeping. I can put away. Go in the trash. For the last of our white maps.
should probably make sure that I have all the Pantheon stuff I need, because if I don't, if there's any Pantheon stuff I don't have that I need, I should make sure I don't delete the map for it. Because otherwise that would be kind of sad. Okay. Botha, I want Abra and only one I might consider is Slazang, and that would be I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say that is from Sulfur Sulfur Vent. Oh, sulfur, right? Oh, maybe it's sulfur, not sulfur. No, I'm wrong. Okay. Sal. Sal? Sal. Guardian. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can't more Guardian. Playing for curse reduction. Genuinely. That's. Each of them amazing. Okay, and he can't reach it. One that I'm by. Oh, Chaos Orbs. I like Chaos Orbs. <laughs> you know, like most people. Cool, I'll take Chaos Orbs. I wasn't paying attention. What is... Oh, it's the Katava. I'll make sure to kill Katava people. Ah, uh, it's satisfying. But this method actually works. I wasn't sure if it was going to work because I know that there's some like the the devoted modifiers you get have some are influenced in some way by the amount of haunted stuff that you do. So, like, the more haunted modifiers that you deal with on creatures in maps you run, the better chance you have of getting devoted modifiers in the next map. Something like that. Now, is that true? Maybe not. Who knows? But the thing is, there is technically, like, a 1 in 10,000 chance or something of getting, like, d drop Divine Orb and other shit like that. I would rather, I'm fine wasting a ton of maps in the hopes that I might get the chance to get something like that. Or even just, like, uh, ancient orbs or exalted orbs, harbingers orbs, what other things are actually valuable. Mirrors. I don't think I don't think that exists. Sounds like a beautiful idea. Getting a seven percent chance. That's not happening. You know what? I think I would actually prefer if that's not possible. Because that will just destroy the economy if even one person gets it. And, like, the economy's fucking weird to begin with, but, like, that would, that would cause a new level of chaos beyond anything we've seen before. So, you know, I think I'm... 
think I'm good with that not being possible. Can you like oh possess something? Oh, okay. It's gonna be used. Okay, kill the chicken. Oh no, it's the icicle. Never know whether it's the chicken or the popsicle. Twenty eight chaos, not bad. Oh right, I took off the uh Oh not that I took Oh, primarily jewel, nice. That. What primordial jewel do we get? Do we get something valuable? Give me an anima stone. That is a harmony. That is the worst one. No, nope, actually, eminence is less valuable. Let us corrupt it and brick it. We bricked it. Fuck. <laughs> Not even a good brute force solution. A bad one. Goodbye. Okay. Waterway. Things, alterations. I'm going to buy a harbinger. I'm going to buy a harbinger. I don't know if that would be valuable. I mean, harbingers have the chance to drop a mirror. Theoretically. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's see what fifty harbinger. I don't know how many things we're gonna get, but we'll see. One harbinger. One waste of time. Ha ha ha. I hear someone laughing. Oh, I hear someone laughing. Must be a syndicate encounter or something. Well, sure. Oh, two harbingers. Here. Harbinger three. Harbinger Harbinger 5. wonder if it dies, if it can be respawned with the strong box. Oh, there's another Harbinger here now. I don't know where it came from. It might have come out because the, the strong box spawns things that naturally spawn the area, and technically it's a natural spawn. Oh, yep, even more. Yeah, no, they're coming out of the strong box. That's weird. Their areas are... Oh, I uh, go. Let's go for a third run.
Uh, that's like Harbinger 8, I think. Eleven. A lot of Arbingers from. Right of elements. Elkon. Still trying not to do the syndicate stuff because I don't want to lower the, the area level of Katarina. Well, and Harbinger 13. Harbinger 14. So fun. I really, I really do enjoy this, honestly. Harbinger 15. Miscount, feel free to tell me. Probably will happen. Sixteen. Armor seventeen. Currency. Fortunate that I'm getting low claims or low level members. Whatever. I still think it's worth it for this. Or nineteen. I think. Bill's very good at dealing with Harbingers. Eric Mission. Yeah. 19 Harbingers. Pretty good. I have even more random crap maps. There. Okay. My horde of veiled stuff. <laughs> you tell I do a lot of syndicate. Lot of Cindy. Oh, nameless seer. I seer your nameless seer and I raise you. I don't know. I don't know where I don't know where I was going with that. Let's find the nameless seer. This is exactly why. I'm doing this is so I can get the opportunities like that. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. My my zoom sulfite. My zoom substance. Like, sulfite is my performance enhancing drug. 
Wait, do I have to kill all of the packs of that one type? I don't know if I need to kill them or if I just need to... I probably need to kill them. Maybe. I'll kill most of them. Actually, I can probably kill all of them without... like a sweet spot between I'm moving way too slow and I oh god I can't see what I can't figure out what's going on because I'm moving too fast now also beyond it. I took one single node that allows for beyond demons to spawn the map that I'm in and it has done for me. I mean, these ones are are not from that. These ones are from uh, the adding Beyond Demons to the map specifically, but still. Gives me a little bit of extra pack size, basically. I, I've been liking that. It was worth the one point, but... I see 14. I haven't seen you in a while. Pleasure to see you. You were streaming this morning, was it? How'd it go? Last pack. Probably down here. Where is the last pack? Nice. And I imagine Maple Story has changed. I assume you're talking about Maple Story. I imagine it's changed a lot in the years since. Like, when I played it, I was... I was in elementary school. How? I mean... I'm 30 now, so... Okay. Name Lassier. Let's see if we get anything. Is that a Venestraza? Yes, it is. But Venestraza? Not runner ever here. <laughs> you know, words. Those are those are worth something, aren't they? Yeah, they're worth a few C. And even if they aren't, I don't think I have one in my Master Unique Collection. So that's mine now. That's totally worth it. But the controls still like really clunky in Maple Story. Well, like, I guess they weren't clunky back then, but like they would they feel clunky by comparison to modern. Remember, I tried it like not recently, but like a few years ago. Just like, hey, what is Maple Story? Chrome's no. Corrupting Tempest, definitely not. Tempest sucks. Error, no. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh, we got to come to you by Map Boss and Chaos Orb. What? Well, sure, I'll do that. My tattoos, too. We all got that one game we go back to. That, like, one game that you've just loved for ever, and you... For me, that's Minecraft. I haven't been back to it in a little... I mean, I've been playing Minecraft for over a decade at this point. It's not too surprising that I am on. So I probably never will have that on the channel. Because I don't... I don't know. I, I, I think I'd prefer Minecraft to be play on my own. And honestly, I don't think the world needs any more Minecraft YouTubers. <laughs> There's enough people out there. The item level is too low, though. Not one. Give me tattoos. You still playing uh, Path this league? I think a lot of people's leagues have already ended. Last effect, that too. What do you think that you'd do in Soul Self Found? Do you have like a build that you'd want to do or just just want to try Soul Self Found? That's fair. Okay, flask effect duration worth anything. Tiny bit. I've always had some amount of interest in Solo Cell Found, but I don't think... I just don't think that it's my thing, honestly. Like, it's interesting, you, you building everything up on your own, and it's certainly different than having access to trade where you can buy pretty much anything you need, you just have to farm the currency. But I really like trading. Which sounds stupid, because a lot of trading in this game is obnoxious. But I just, I really do enjoy having the, playing the economy, and having something drop, and it like, hey, this is actually worth something to someone. Not worth anything to me, but it's worth something to someone. Rings. 
things. No. Not, no. Here it's no. Corrupting Tempest, absolutely not. Not no. Want to get another one of those uh, uh, rare items drop as div cards? That was really fucking nice. <laughs> It is definitely a different And for the record, I will say I don't think it's a bad game mode or anything. It's just has a specific appeal that I don't think fits with me. Because I think I'd rather be able to look at like all more or less every item in the game and be like, okay, I can min-max this to make it super good. I do this, this, and that. I, I respect getting excited because it enables a particular build. I can I can see that that point of view. Actually, before we do any more hunting through maps, I'll pick a, I'll do with the last tier six. Off fire decrease doesn't matter. Pack size is that's what pack to be first. Okay, let's do something fun, though. So, I haven't attempted any of the tier 17s yet. I got another one to drop. So, we're looking at Ziggurat and Abomination. Ziggurat has... Ripple Curses. And... Has extra rare monster virus, which... An abomination has enfeebled plus it steals charges and monsters have volatile. I think I will try abomination. Try these before I go with half a div. Okay, sure. I'll can't possibly go badly. Oh, we can add <laughs> we can add things to it. Okay. Um, you know I don't think I'm gonna do that. Sounds like a bad plan. I don't want to infer anything. What can I do to make this more reasonable? Hmm. Definitely want to force Nico. I have the of sulfite for. Sulfide and toxic. I'll probably just pick two domination. Make sure that I have lots of shrine.
And I'll pick Heist to make sure that I have Huck with me. Spectral Leaders and Warriors. Hard B. This is terrifying. Oh dear. Started up a League addiction? Oh no. Oh no, League of Legends. <laughs> I... No, bad. I will never do that again. I'm not going to add anything else to this map because I'm already terrified of it. Do I have my... Yeah, I have my Omen of Death Dance. Or Death Door. Or Death's Door. Okay, so this is my first tier 17, uh, eight, uh, monster level 84 domination map. Scared. What do I need to be careful of? Any? I have Enfeeble. Anything actually like. Probably whatever the map boss is scary, but like, besides that. Why did that sound like Bolt? Is that Bolt? No. No, 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 no. No! No! God damn it! I saw, I saw the spirit getting away from him, like, no! No, I know you're gonna do something to me! Okay, you fucker. Ooh. Oh, it's a mini bowl. What? What was that? What? What killed me? What is going on? This, please. Apparently, I missed something. I mean, it does, it is kind of an awful map, but like, I don't know what that was. It, is this the one with the volatile cores? Yes, volatile cores. Okay, I think that's what got me. Gonna be super safe about. Something sees me. Ooh. No. Okay. No. Fuck you. This a dead end. Make sure that there's nothing here back up in. Okay, there are just like mini voles everywhere. That's terrifying. Uh not vole as in the the small woodland creature, vole as in the uh the deadly general. Ah. Are you invulnerable? You look like you're invulnerable. I... I, I'm very displeased by that. Are you going away, or are you just going to follow me forever? Like, are you just going to follow me forever? I think I can damage it. It doesn't have a health bar. 
Okay, well, I'm just going to ignore that because I don't think I can do anything about it. No, 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 no. I don't even care what's dropping. Don't get murdered. Up my filters. Things. Don't want to know what's dropping. And very, very valuable. Trying not to die. This map is a lot scarier than I expected for just a single tier. Nope. What's that? Something's up there. And below me. And below me. And below me. Ow. What was that? Don't want. No, you're going to fuck off now. Because I do not need tormented, exper tor tormented spirits making my life work. And why are they awful? Ow. Wait, that didn't hurt. I must have. Oh, if I've been showing this map enough respect, I have to, to make sure to show it some respect because I don't want to have any. I don't think I was showing enough respect at the start, and that's definitely why I died. Okay, let's get another damage reduction and more damage. Really wish I've, I had seen Huck, but I haven't seen him yet. I see. Why even? You know what? No, I'm gonna just ignore that now. A good chance that that they'll just kill me for some reason. I don't know what sort of like the modifiers on the map do not look that scary, but I have a feeling that it's more than the modifiers on the map. Thank you, Sko. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually a, um, there's a microtransaction on it that shoots up frogs whenever, uh, I use it. Also, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Doing my first tier 17 map. Yeah, I'm terrified. Mainly because Mini Vol killed me twice already. Fucker. Uh... Yep. Very first. <gasps> I see a rogue's. I see a smuggler's cache! No. No, no, no. 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 Fuck you. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm shit-talking the AI. Uh, thank you. I'm pretty proud of this build. It's go, it's doing pretty well. 
I think I've, I'm successfully sitting over 10 million DPS now, so I feel confident that I can take this on. I wish it had a bit more survivability, though. Like, not exactly what I was hoping. Honestly, I would love to be able to fit discipline in here, in addition to have some extra energy shield. Hey, okay, please, I need, I need my huck. No, what the huck? Stop hucking me up. Huck, come with me. I love you. You love me too, right? No, 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 I know you. No, you're gonna charge me. No. No. I. Yes. Yes. Um, my single target's pretty. Uh, we have well, okay. The main pro problem is that there's enfeeble on the map. That's not helping. And anything that hits me steals my charges, which is not good either. Maybe I should be running some actual. Fucking first reduction. That might be. Up, oh, you're with me. Good now. Now I have determination. Oh my god, I should I should put fucking. Oh god, I just wandered over here like because I was on autopilot. I shouldn't have done this. I don't know how dangerous these guys are. Rust. I well, that's exactly what I was afraid of happening. I'm gonna wait a second, and I'm gonna hope that they are. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're just gonna fight Huck forever, but I'm gonna give them a second to despawn and fail the encounter because I don't care about the encounter. I don't think... I think if I just go away for long enough, they will... No, they're too stuck on Hawk. Don't know. I mean, they'll just spawn if you're in range normally. Like, when you're just in a map, they'll just fucking run off. But I think it's because they're too focused on Hawk. Okay, I'm gonna walk the other way. That does seem appealing, and if I wasn't streaming, I would say yes. But I want to. I want to be able to. Do, I want to be able to do this on my own. It's kind of like a point of pride. Also, because, like, I made this build, and this is me proving that this build is awesome on its own. I do very much appreciate it, though. Nope! Volatiles aren't so bad if I know they're coming. <sighs> Does Bleedbow not require a bunch of uniques, though?
think it does. I think it just requires champion. Oh, the fucking invulnerable things again. No, no, Vol, no. How was that? What the hell does just, just okay? I, I just got a status effect that I've never seen before. What was that? Besides terrifying. That better not have been silence. Don't tell me that normal monsters can silence now. Oh, thank gosh. Give me self intoxic. I'm not drunk enough for this map. Oh, no, no, no. Over there sending awful things at me. Okay, I think I'm clear. Nope. Not from that, though. Okay, adding domination to this map was a choice that I think was good, but I'm questioning it a little. It is adding creep, like, not creepy, it's adding terrifying things to the So maybe what I need to do is make a specific Atlas passive tree for tier 17 so that I'm not adding anything terrifying to it, like the, um, what's it called, unusual adversaries, natural adversaries. Like that's definitely on my, my passive tree right now. Invasive adversaries. Yeah, I don't want to have map bosses just popping up because they're... Hey! I'm here. Just popping up to say hi. That's a bit, uh... A bit not to my liking, I might say. You're 16? Nah, fine. These mobs? Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh no. Okay. They'll have... They'll have two portals left. Like, walking downwards or upwards in the game was super... You have the least visit. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I don't know what you are, and I don't like you. Oh, Rogue Exile, great. <laughs> that was ballsy just walking through that. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't pay for that. How are we doing? Hopefully... Hopefully the Syndicate people are in an area that... Oh, that's a... that's a rare bowl. Nope. No, 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 no. I love that out of context, it just sounds like I'm terrified of, like, groundhogs. 
Well, I guess a fall, technically. Out of context, it's like... Oh no, hamsters! Okay. Next shrine, next shrine, next shrine. Okay, backing up. But okay. I honestly would have really preferred something besides whatever. Trying desperately to focus as well. That I'm not at any. <sighs> yeah, I I really wish I was an affiliate, but oh, thank you, thank you for the follow go. Yeah, I uh. I think I'm at 47. Yeah, I think it's 47 followers as of uh, as of Sco. So that uh, means that I'm pretty close to affiliate at 50. The only problem is that uh, I need to have enough uh, concurrent viewers, and I don't have that yet because generally I have one. I think I have 1.5 concurrent viewers. And I need three. So it's probably gonna be a while before I'm ready. Before I have an have an affiliate status, sadly. I mean, such is life. I want to deal with whatever this is. not really. Let's deal with this just just walk in the area. That, I don't know if that's my explosions or that scares me. Nope, those there's explosions. I don't back up into anything dangerous. Okay. Now those are mine. Gimme, 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 please, thank you. Oh, oh, fuck, it's blowing up all my corpses. Those to eat. I'm gonna hold on to this corpse here and not use it till I'm ready to kill the boss. No, oh god, it's fucking possessed. No! No, why does it have to be possessed? Please tell me that damage it without getting looking for the fireball. Oh, I see the fireball. It has not done. Nope, it's still alive. Right? Yes, there it is. I don't know if I'm able to hit it or not. Okay, leaving. Yep, got it. Oh! Oh, yeah, no, I'm leaving. No, fuck that. That's definitely an apparition. Let the apparition do. Oh my god. I just realized that I forgot to turn on music this entire time. Every time I turn it off, I forget to turn it back on, and it's been like three hours. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! I just kind of forget that music exists.
Oh, thank you, C14. I'll keep that in mind, yeah. I mean, that would help a lot because I really... Oh, is that not... Is that not an apparition? Is that, like, a real legitimate it has respawned? Dead now. But yeah, I need, like, one or two people that... Like, more who are around, like, really regularly, and that's pretty much all I need to come in. That and, like, a couple other followers, but that will come in time. I just have to keep working towards, like, making loyal viewers. I realize that a lot of my content's probably kind of dry, though, because I like the really, really, really technical shit. So I'll just be talking about random... Random things. Okay, where? We talk about like, ah, oh, this is what the release notes say. Here's what I'm gonna do. Grab acceleration. I'm gonna go fight the boss now. Get Gravekeeper's boon. I go. Wait. Oh, hello. I don't like this. Oh god, yeah, it's all three of them. God. Right, okay. I'm in danger. Just need third party per. Yeah. Oh, that is just all of POE, isn't it? Can't get near Dodre. Where's the most dangerous? Anyways. Lost con fuck Dodre. Nope, there! Nope. Nope. No. Damn it. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can't- I can't get help- I can't get help from someone else without, uh... Uh... Without having enough portals. And I'm not gonna ask someone to do it for me, I would rather lose. Just because... It, it's- again, it's a matter of pride. I'm gonna keep going until I, I complete it myself. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Roll. I need our chat for a moment. Focus mode. Okay. No, shit! Thank you, Death Dancing. No! Don't get close to me, please. No! No! No, 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 no. Stop fucking teleporting, you prick! Nope! Seconds. Seconds. No, fuck. Damn it! Okay. 
Okay. Dodri teleport into explosion. Malgar is the least threatening. Chaffron, when she starts charging up, I have about two seconds to move out of the way so I can actually stand in her AoE for a little while. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm done. Like, I'm out, but... I got them all down to about a quarter. Honestly, I'm proud of that. You know that this is just the pre-phase, Asko. Well... Fuck me. <laughs> Oh yeah, the depraved trinity comes out after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I... Ugh, fuck! Fuck. I think what's going wrong is I'm able to take some hits from Chevron. She hurts, but she's whittling me down a bit. And Ligaro seems to be getting knocked... His damage seems to be getting ignored, more or less, mainly because he uses attacks so heavily on Chavron. I can only suppress, which is working. Or it's actually, it's working okay. only mediocre. Doje, I can suppress to an extent, but the problem is that she red skills. Red skills are usually strength skills, physical. Uh, damage reduction is low. At. I'm at. I have no base physical damage reduction with Huck with I. Closer to 45%, I think. I have the benefit of if you. <laughs> Look at my Chaos Res right now. <laughs> uh. So I was doing that with plus three to max res, so I was doing that at 79% lightning, 80% cold, 79% fire, 75% chaos. Yeah, I mean, I can do that, but I, I don't I don't think that's the problem. I really don't think chaos damage was the issue, because Malagar was the chaos damage one, and I wasn't finding him dangerous. Like, I'm pretty sure that the problem is that I have no physical damage reduction. And, like, Huck was helping because I had, uh... Huck was helping because he has determination. Uh, I'll explain my Chaos Res in a second. Reason why my Chaos Res is high. I'm gonna go look at Huck first. Huck. Okay. So I need to... I need to power up Huck a bit more, I think. That would help a lot. It's not everything I need, but it'd help a little bit. Uh, get Determination 15. Give myself a bit more physical. I'm gonna need some... If I could force some... Charges that... I don't know if any cloak effects out. The enemies on full life matter, but it doesn't matter for too long. I might I should probably I should probably reroll my cloak. But I'm level seventy nine. I should get an I'm level eighty four cloak, reroll it till I have something better. And then get an I'm level 79 uh, Obsidian Shot. Uh, plus, I should take. Probably get him a tool, but I don't think the tool. Attributes. One second. So, Chaos Res. This is why my Chaos Res is so high. We made this last stream. It is a parentis pack that gives plus four to your chaos res to every passive in the area. So plus four. 
four 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 So that is why I have such good chaos stress. Because this one jewel has fixed everything. Uh that jewel is current I'm at 109. That jewel is currently giving me 96% Chaos Reds. I should dump some Chaos Res off my gear. I really don't need it. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, need, I should replace my helmet. It could definitely be better than this. I want to get my max life up a little bit higher. My... My boots, I could get some more max life on. And I like my gloves. I like keeping my Chaos Ring, so I'll probably keep that as it is. Yeah, I think I mainly need to replace my hat because I don't need the resistances on it. And then my boots. Though I could go for a uh, Vermilion Ring too. I could also do something about that extra added damage that on it, because that's not useful to me anymore. Wait, is it useful to me? No, it's not, because I have cold I have added cold damage here. That's just to give me a freeze chance. That can be swapped out for something, but I don't have anything to swap out, really. Uh attributes. My attributes are holding. They're not really like they're not crazy or anything, but they're holding. Are. Actually, what I'm kind of tempted to do is to tank my decks another 40 points. If I do that, then I could add more tattoos of uh, Arongi Scouts for freeze chance. And then I don't need the, chan the chance to avo freeze avoidance on here. So I could focus more on... Uh, life, energy, gold. So I'm now starting to rely on the cold. Also, putting all of this into perspective. Oh, I am running uh, Solar. Uh, the base part version of the build runs Brian King uh, to avoid freeze, but after getting the tattoos, I popped over Paris. To give me crit protection, elemental damage protection. Little bit of physical damage reduction, but that dot doesn't help in this fight. And some element ailment to void for lead and poison. Worth going to lose that one fight. I think so, because there would only be 3% physical damage reduction, and the... No, I think Solaris is the best run, and then I'm running... Oh, fuck! I was running Aberath. Shit. I should have been running Rislaw. Okay, that, that caused... That's a problem. That is a genuine play there. Uh... There and that's not gonna matter. Yeah, I needed to be running Rislotha for that. I forgot to swap it back after running a burning ground map. Okay, yeah, so that would help me a lot. That right there might have been enough for me to get to the second phase, but it wouldn't have been enough for me to kill her. Uh the the depraved trend. Because the Trinity is the Trinity is something. Maybe if I rolled in off of the map, that I could better fit with the boss. Because I figured that I'd be fine with Enfeeble because my damage is high, but Enfeeble does hurt. The other option is that I get a Yugul, which gives me crit curse reduction. Ow. Especially since the map hurts, the text reflection doesn't 
My brain's going on overdrive because I'm trying to figure out how to fix, how to, how I can deal with this. Because currently, I don't see a mathematical solution to that. I know Rislotha will help. And I know having more damage, or not, not damage, more, um, high li higher life gear will help. And those two together will be a big deal. I don't know if there's anything to do with my last Oh, shit. I don't have my passive. That's not helping me. That would help me. I think I swapped it for life or something. Oh, yeah, I, I, I totally oh. forgot to tell anyone about it. Uh, I got uh, Forbidden Flesh and Flame for Polymath. Uh, which is the 3% more damage per different type of mastery you have. As well as per different type of mastery you have, 1% uh, life, mana, and energy shield on kill. And that gave me, I think, like an extra 4 million DP. I think that's, I think that's actually what brought me to 13. It's, it's a bit lower right now because I need my exposure passive. Yeah, I mean, more masters. Oh my gosh. You can hear the pug in the background. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that it's time to end the stream? Oh, heavy baby. My heavy baby. Okay. I I agree with what you're saying, my manager. You have some several good points you just made. However, I I need you to give me a few more moments. Just uh in my lap here. Yep. Yep, I have a lap pug now. Okay. Wait here. Too soon. Yeah. yeah. So, for masteries, I'm definitely missing something because I don't have my, ele my one elemental. That would give me... Uh, what else could I get? I could get my blind mastery as well. That's that's thing I don't have. Those are two, like, really easy damage increases. I'd have to do the actual math of, like, the damage increase. I mean, the biggest... Okay, the biggest problem is that I need... Uh, I need level 100. I'm at 96. If I get to 100, I will have my crit strike chance there with, with another a new mastery. I'll have life here. My elemental damage mastery there, and then one more thing somewhere. I haven't really decided upon. And I could also take one more. Or I could swap pro I could tattoo prowess into plus forty life. That's also an option. That might do better than 4%. 8% Sun of Oins. 8% Sun of Oins is not. Probably what. I already have a Rizzard. Oh, I could just take the increased effect. The uh, auras have an increased effect on you to get more out of my grace. I, that'll affect my grace, my clarity, and my perception. Okay, that'll work. Oh, boy. Man, I'm... <laughs> 
I'm wiped out after that map. Like, I got into, like, really, uh, real, like, focus mode. But... All Breach or Headhunter stack. Oh, God. Uh, I don't think I have the money to buy a Vault. Assuming that they're, they're available in... Vault. Oh, do these exist in Necropolis? No! Oh, only three div! I could totally buy a Vault Breach. They'd be breach monsters, not just like. They'd be breach monsters. That would less dangerous things than that. The other, other, other option that I have is I can get a, and this is expensive, a level twenty-one Vol Grace. That is still a thing I can do. Because Vol Grace would help me a lot, and honestly, I don't know if having my Vol Blade Vortex here for Culling Strike is worth it. I'm so happy that I, I managed to get my power class mine level 26. Oh. Yes, yes, I know it's late. Hmm. Yeah, I think my main thing is that I could... I'll get a vol... vol... base to have my thing on the right pantheon. else that I could even Yeah, I think I I think I might need to drop my frost shield to a lower level so that it's more the 400 shield that I have. I, I just need to get more, more life on. Technically, I could also get a a hunter, not a hunter, a uh, warlord's uh, maximum power charge. Uh, Effect suffix. I can't remember. What. That's also another. That would help a lot, actually. I would love to re-roll the Pinnacle Atlas boss thing to a unique boss for fire damage. That would be nice. And this, I still haven't been able to get action speed instead of lightning res on here. <laughs> like, I rolled away from action speed a while ago trying to get a better better tier of it, and that was the worst mistake I have ever made. Or at least, the worst mistake I've ever made with these pair of boots. <laughs> it's just really... Really struggling with that. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> okay. Well. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. For everyone who's here and has been here, I appreciate you very much. Thank you again, Scope, for following. This will be going up most likely tomorrow on at Black Cat Streams. And we will be putting up, uh, we put up a highlight today on at Black Hat Studio, and there will be another highlight going up on Thursday and Saturday. Our next game will be Thursday at the usual time, which is 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST. Thank you all so much for coming. I appreciate you very much, and I hope you have a great day.